Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about compound inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 5x minus 5 is greater than negative 7x minus 5, or 3x plus 5 is less than or equal to x minus 1. Well, my first goal is I'm going to solve each individually, so I'm going to solve this one first. I'm going to add a 7x to both sides, and I'm going to add a 5 to both sides as well. 5x plus 7x is a 12x. It's greater than negative 5 plus 5 is 0. Well, if I divide by 12 to both sides here, 0 divided by 12 is 0, and we're left with just an x on the left. So now I need to solve this one on the right. So I have a negative x, or sorry, I'm going to subtract the x to both sides. And I subtract a 5 to both sides. Let's bring our x's to the left, numbers to the right. 3x minus x is a 2x. It is less than or equal to negative 1 minus 5 is a negative 6. From there, I'm going to divide by 2 to both parts, both sides there, leaving me x by itself here, is less than or equal to negative 6 divided by 2 is a negative 3. That's an or statement between them, so if x is greater than 0, or x is less than or equal to a negative 3. So now I need to graph them. Zero. Let's go by ones. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one, negative two, negative three. And let's increase that a little bit here. That's a negative four and a negative five. Okay? Kind of made it a little tight there. Okay? So x is greater than zero. So x is greater than zero. So I'm going to open circle at zero because it's not equal to zero. X is greater than, so I shade to the right. Then this one, x is less than or equal to negative 3. Since it can equal a negative 3, I have a closed circle. And since it's less than, I put my arrow to the left. And so now I have my graph that matches my final answer, which is x is greater than 0, or x is less than or equal to a negative 3. So let's recap. We're given 5x minus 5 is greater than negative 7x minus 7. I added a 7x to both sides and added a 5 to both sides, giving me a 12x on the left and a 0 on the right. Divided by 12 to both parts, giving me x here is greater than or equal to zero. So on the right hand side, I brought my x's to the left, numbers to the right, gave me two x is less than or equal to negative six, divided by two to both parts, and now I have x is less than or equal to negative three. Fantastic, graph each individually. So x is greater than zero, so it's not equal to zero, open circle at zero, and my arrow went to the right because x is greater than zero. Since x can equal negative three, I have a closed circle at negative three, and it's less than negative three, so my arrow went to the left. And so now my graph here matches my final compound answer, which is x is greater than 0, or x is less than or equal to a negative 